Amen. He's the promise keeper. And he's our light in the darkness. And he lives in you and me. And we can be that light right now. Would I like to lead us in right now? Our hearts and our minds to the throne of God on behalf of all these first responders and all these medical workers who are on the front line treating the people who are sick. Would you lift your hands right now? Would you just bow your heart before the throne? And allow me to lead us as one heart to the throne of God. Father God, we come before your throne. God, we recognize that you are holy and you are worthy, God. And you are mighty. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are the great healer, God. And we thank you. Father, we come before you with humble hearts, Father. We humble ourselves before you and we confess our sin, God, that you would heal our land. God, that you would bring healing upon these people. God, everyone who's infected, God, that you would touch their hearts. But God, we know that you didn't cause this, but we know that you will work great things and mighty things out of this for your glory. But right now, God, we lift up all the first responders. We lift up the people in this hospital right here at Northeast Georgia Medical in Browsington, but not just here, in every hospital, in every place, corner of the, the world, Father, the people who are treating those who are sick, we pray first for their protection, God, that you would give them the necessary things to protect them, Father, so that they don't take this home to their families, that you would watch over them, God, as they're taking care of those who need the medical attention so badly, God. We pray and lift them up for provision that you would pour favor, Father. But, Father, we pray that they would see you, God. They would see you in this, that you're providing and that you're taking care, Father, that you are there and you are present, God. We pray for provision for their families, God, not just in resource, but financial, Father, for the hospitals. We pray that this country would come together, lifting each other up, loving our neighbor as ourself, God, as you call the second greatest commandment, God. We want to worship you, and then we want to love our neighbor. Father, lift these people up. Father, bring them everything that they need, God, to take care. Protect them. Keep them from getting this virus, Father, so they can do what they've been called to do, God. So the skills and the ability that you've given them, the wisdom that you've given them to take care of these people, God, you would let it work through them, God. And we pray through all of this, God, that you will be glorified, that people will see you, God, not us, but you, God. You are the light in us to lift up the name of Jesus, God. So we pray for provision. We pray for every need that they have, God, that you would take care of them. We come here today beseeching you, God, on their behalf, God, that you would protect them. Father, we love you so much. You are the way maker. You're the promise keeper. You're the light in the darkness, God. And we worship you. We love you, Father. And together, we're all here doing this in the name of Jesus. So, Father, in the precious name of Jesus, the powerful name of Jesus, the healing name of Jesus, we pray all these things. And everybody said together in a loud voice. Amen. Amen.